Hi everyone, this is Menz here. I'm going to be playing the Tier 3 Russian Premium Light Tank, the BTSV, which this tank isn't normally available. However, it's been sold on the Russian, European, and North American server on a semi-frequent basis. It's usually only in the gift shop and with special codes, so you're not going to find it in-game in the in-game store or during all periods of the year. But it's a unique tank in that it's really rare to see them around and it's a very fun tank to play. It does have limited matchmaking. It only sees tier 3 and tier 4 tanks. You don't see any tier 5s like a lot of tier 3 tanks do and suffer because of that. And as you see its armor is pretty well sloped all around the tank. And even though its armor is 25 millimeters on the hull and 20 on the sides, since it's sloped it has a decent amount of armor. Now its turret, while small, is still weak because it doesn't have a lot of slope compared to the hull for that and it still has some pretty large uh, lower glacis and then the side armor, the tracks, does help, do help a little bit but at the same time people can just shoot your turret and go right through it but it's very fast. Its engine to weight ratio, so power to weight ratio, is pretty insane. Just the downside is pitiful V range, 280 mil, not millimeters, 280 meters. <laughs> Kept wanting to say millimeters. And also, it only has a 45 millimeter gun, which penetration's low, damage per shot is low, has a decent rate of fire, but poor accuracy, and the aiming time's a little up there. So. It's pretty much just a heavily armored light tank that's freaking fast as hell. So it is fun to play, but at times that gun and if people know where to shoot you, kind of like lets you down a little bit. But if you're facing one of these tanks, then focus on the turret because it's going to be weak and flat sections of the whole armor. The main draw to the tank is it sees up to tier 4s, so you're going to get a lot of matches where just tier 3, tier 2 tanks, no tier 4s, and even if there's tier 4s, it's not often that you have a ton of tier 4s in there. So I do have to be kind of aware that there's that T82 on the other team, he can put a hurtin' on me, and also, that T-18 is de decent howitzer and their artillery. But as you see, this thing accelerates freaking fast as hell. And it's pretty hilarious just seeing the tank go around. So I'm going to... Ooh, crap. You do have to beware about getting yourself into trouble because this thing just freaking flies around the map. Now, as you see, you do lose a bit of speed going up a steep hill like this, but you're still going faster than pretty much most tanks in your tier. There are more higher tier light tanks that can keep up with you, but you're not going to be facing them unless if you do a troll platoon. So I'm just going to pop down here. I don't want to stay still too long, but I just want to take a couple shots at this guy. I can actually hit him, but the accuracy, as I kind of went over, blows. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of enemies over here, so I'm gonna fly down here and hopefully not be shot. Let's just give him something to shoot at instead of my team. Definitely gonna go after this PZ2 though. He's just plowing right through here. But unfortunately, by not having a good gun, it makes it very difficult to actually kill things. So while you might move around the map very good and shrug off a few shots more than other light tanks, it's going to actually be difficult to kill things. And while your armor is good for a light tank, you're not invincible, so 
don't think you can just go drive around against other tier 3s and not be damaged. Okay, so that guy's blue, but I don't think he meant to do it, but you never know. There's a couple tanks there. Playing in low tier matches, not everyone knows about the whole spotting for others and things like that. Okay, so I just want to keep moving a little bit. My accuracy sucks already, but I don't want them to get very good shots at me. No idea where that T-82 is. I'm going to bet that he's on that side. But I'm hoping that that team or that flank will be all right over there. But you never know. Hell, hopefully these guys push up. I'll try to help them out here. Yeah, they're not pushing up yet, but hopefully they push up before I die. Hello, little tank. Hopefully somebody comes and helps me. I'm definitely on my own here. Hey guys, do something. Somebody. Ooh, I got lucky there. He's coming after me now though. I do not want to ram him. But spotting and letting other people kill them. That works sometimes. So to keep on moving here. I'm just gonna push here to spot a few more things. I know that there are tank destroyers over there I need to be aware of. Hey people, are you are you able to shoot anybody for me? Well, I would take that right now. <laughs> Seems like they're all just dying now. Hopefully he does not hit me. Okay, one more shot and he's out. Keep going here. Ooh, low tier matches where accuracy just blows on a lot of tanks. And I need to pick up some speed again or else I'm going to get smoked by the other tanks there. Should be, yep. Medium over here. Okay, let's just keep going. Should be able to get him, but you never know with this gun. It's very hit or miss. Well, hit or miss with any tank, but more so with a light tank with very bad accuracy. But if you have a chance to get this tank, it's freaking hilarious to play at times. Just keep these guys occupied. He's too worried about getting me rather than shoot the guys who are actually on his side. And of course, they just damaged my engine twice. So, it looks like they're gonna get on a cap. That works for me. I'll go after a T82. But 
but even with your engine damage, this thing's still pretty fast. Pretty sure our Cruiser 2 is just not playing at all. Yeah, I wish my engine was with damage. I'd be able to be there by now and possibly reset the cap. Not that we're going to lose, but every little bit of damage I would like. Pretty fun match, and that's definitely a good map for a very quick light tank. So I would say not a bad match. I got an Ace Tanker Award, Patrol Duty. As far as damage goes, then got second the most, 523, which isn't bad. Basically, a little bit over double my hit points. And then destroyed four tanks. Experience, I easily outpaced everyone else on my team. Almost double second place. Um, let's just put it back to that. But I spotted for 1,307 damage. Only blocked a little bit, but not many shots actually hit me. And I made a pretty good amount of credits, but the main draw to this tank is just, it's very fun to play. It's like a go-kart, but with armor. And while you're not going to block everything the Tier 3 tanks throw at you, you're going to block a decent amount, and especially for a light tank, a lot more than you probably should. It just all comes down to the angle of the armor, and it's a very odd-shaped tank, and while the gun is very fickle, against most Tier 3s, you shouldn't have a problem with penetrating them, and then you also have premium ammo, but you don't need it. If you hit things, 51 millimeters is usually enough for penetration, but still, Tier 4s, you should have a little bit of APCR. And then the average damage is really low, but this tank's all about just running around and kind of messing with people. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my website, wotguru.com.